Hi guys. We made it to another weekend. Thank goodness. So tonight we're opening all football. We don't have any other sports uh, coming up, but we do have a few different items. We have um, a one box break of some Hit Parade limited edition football. We have a one box break of some 2017 plates and patches. A one box break of a Gold Rush full size autograph football helmet. And then we will do a half case of Panini Contenders draft picks football which just came out today and we're going to bust into into that shortly too before we start ripping into packs though there is a little bit of information to go over so let's get started with that first and foremost thank you to everyone who is joining me tonight those of you who bid with me and break with me and chat with me i appreciate each and every one of you so thank you and welcome i know we've got some new faces with us tonight as well and secondly, a quick note there to let you know that my feedback is completely automated on eBay. So basically what that means to you is you never have to wait for me to get caught up because it seems like I'm never caught up. <laughs> so as soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you should instantly get it in return. Next, we're going to take a quick little look here at the breaks already listed on eBay for the next five days. I list new things almost every night and they do typically run for five days. So tomorrow night, we've got some Signature Series baseball, a, a limited edition baseball box, uh, a mini football helmet, and the back half of Contenders Draft Picks, the case that we're going to start tonight, we're going to finish tomorrow night. On Sunday, note that we're going to start earlier than normal. We'll start at 945. We'll do a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures and the last full case I have of Diamond Kings baseball. Monday night, we have a multi-sport jersey and autographed football, not helmet, but actual autographed football, a full case of National Treasures football. How about that? I found an extra one of those this week. And then we will also start a new case of Contenders Draft Picks. Tuesday, we'll do another Gold Rush helmet. We'll do some more Contenders Draft Picks. And then Wednesday, we're also going to start early. We'll start at 930 We'll do an autographed baseball jersey, and then boom, Bowman baseball, because it comes out that day, so I'm super excited about that. And next, we're going to take a look at our uh, estimated shipping dates, our first three breaks tonight, which uh, would be the limited edition football box, the plates and patches, and the helmet. Those are all completely free shipping breaks. So anytime you do a break with me where it is completely free shipping, it's going to go out about six to seven days after the auction ends. Sooner, if you have another package going, it might hitch a ride and uh, go sooner. But if you have just that, look for it to go out roughly Thursday of next week. Our paid shipping break tonight is Contenders Draft Picks. I have that estimated for Tuesday. And as always, it can go earlier, it can go later. Uh, Tuesday is my best estimate. I do have a couple of family members in the hospital right now. Something weird happens, you know, everything could shift, but uh, hopefully we're going to be pretty close to sticking to that schedule. Finally, uh, if your team is not pulled tonight in a break, which can certainly happen, you're still entitled to a consolation trading card. It can be from any year in any series. It will typically be sent with your next hit your next package that goes out, in other words. If you want it sent sooner by itself, that can be arranged. Just shoot me a message on eBay and let me know. So first up tonight, 2018 Hit Parade Limited Edition Football Box. This is uh, break number one. This came out a couple weeks ago. And of course, it ended tonight, the 20th of April. We're live streaming it tonight. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. One of these spreadsheets, of course, will go up before the start of every break. So if you're not in this particular break, you're still going to get a chance to see your name up there on the screen when we get to your item. Next, you're going to notice the background going out of focus, but that is by design, not to worry. We're going to be able to see everything with no problems. Jimmy, how are you? I don't have anything unsold tonight. Every, every team got a home tonight. <coughs> So, um, nothing, nothing hanging around unsold. I'm, I, I start to say I'm sorry to say, but kind of I'm glad to say that, but I'm sorry you didn't get a team, Jimmy. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what I mean there. But I'm all, I would always uh, prefer that all the teams get a home. Ooh, this looks to be, oh, that's not who I thought it was. Okay. Well, it's still going to be, it's still going to be good, but it's, I thought it was somebody else when I first saw it. <laughs> 
All right, so we can see it is encased here. It is the Kansas City Chiefs. It's out of contenders. It's numbered to 49, a championship ticket for Tyreek Hill. Of course, I saw the Chiefs, and you know what I thought. I thought we were going to have Kareem Hunt in there. Uh, but Kansas City Chiefs have our hit here for Hit Parade Limited Edition Series 1 with the little nice little Tyreek Hill rookie hit to 49. Big John 23, I can't believe this is the first time you've been on here live with me as many times as you break with me. I can't believe this is the first time you've watched live. I'm so happy to have you. And you're chatting with me too. I love that. That's so awesome. Oh, you know what? we got to flip this again. Uh, so once again, if you are in this upcoming break, which will be for plates and patches, please take a moment to note the info there about your anticipated shipping date and the info about consolation cards if you don't hit. This is one box of 2017 plates and patches football. It's break number seven. Our first six breaks were all full cases. And uh, of course, the days of finding this in full cases at any kind of affordable price are long gone. So we're going to be doing some one box breaks for a little while with a few a few little extra boxes I picked picked up. So I know, John, there is a first time for everything, right? Well, I'm glad that you joined us live tonight. And by the way, if you are watching live and you can't see chat and you would like to see chat or participate in chat, I can tell you a couple of things. One, you need to be logged into YouTube to make that happen. And two, if you should be watching on a mobile device, a tablet, a phone, etc., you are going to need to click on the link that says view the desktop version. And once those two things happen, you should be uh, pretty well set to go if you want to see or participate in chat. So our first card out here is numbered to 25. It is Doug Williams for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, Cody, we uh, our helmet tonight is actually Gold Rush, but I have not done it yet. What I did a moment ago, our first break tonight, was the um, Hit Parade Limited Edition football. Number 299, we have Cam Newton coming out for the Carolina Panthers. And now, the rest of the way through, we should be all about the hits. Our printing plate is Kurt Warner for the Rams. And, of course, printing plates are always one of one. This one is from Don Russ Football. And if you don't know this already, the printing plates usually are going to have some scratches and surface imperfections and things. And that's, you know, kind of normal because they were, were used in the actual printing process. Green Bay Packers, look at that patch for Jamal Williams, numbered to 50, and that's a pretty sweet little piece of cloth right there. And Kansas City Chiefs, what up, man? It's a Tyreek Hill kind of night, isn't it? We just hit Tyreek Hill in the last break, and now we're hitting Tyreek Hill here when I know the Chiefs really wanted Kareem Hunt. But we have Tyreek Hill to 25 for you. A couple of nice relics at the bottom, sticker auto. And for the most part, looks to be in pretty good shape. You know, most of these cards can have a little bit of edge and corner wear and imperfections right out of the right out of the box. But if I see anything major, I normally point it out. So to recap, Tyreek Hill and the Chiefs, Jamal Williams for the Packers, Kurt Warner for the Rams, Cam Newton for the Panthers, and Doug Williams. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So plates and patches. That was quick too, right? Yeah, I know. These one box things don't take very long. Which will roll us next into exactly what Cody's waiting for. Which is our Gold Rush uh, full size football helmet. Once again, if you are in this break, please take a moment to note your anticipated shipping date. As well as the information you see there about what happens if your team is not pulled in the break. This is a 2018 Gold Rush full-size autograph football helmet. It is break number four. Like our other items tonight, it ended uh, this evening, the 20th of April, and we're live streaming it tonight as well. And money is all over this break. Money 201111 has a lot of teams in here. He is definitely hedging his bets, and uh, sometimes that pays off. 
Sometimes that is all you need to do, but we'll find out here in a minute. The only other thing I need to point out, these two things right here, the college greats and the Heisman, those were each, of course, their own bidding category. So if we pull out the college greats multi-signed helmet, it goes to that bidding category. Ditto if we pull out the Heisman one. And if you don't know specifically which ones I'm talking about, if you look in the listing description, if you look at the pictures, one of the uh, pictures on the sell sheet shows those two that I'm talking about. And it just looked like it had so many signatures on it that I thought it would be very difficult to try to sort out using random. So that's why I gave it its own bidding category. Oh, I'm already going to be happy with, with this. I don't even know who it is, but I'm already happy with it. So that probably gives you a hint about the team, doesn't it? Well, if you've broken with me before, it does. Because I am a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And this is a seriously nice hit. Yes, it is Franco Harris. And he signed it with an inscription about the Immaculate Reception. How flipping sweet is that? I'm just going to tell you, it's very sweet. That is a super hit for the Pittsburgh Steelers with the Franco Harris. Our authentication is JSA. There's the little card for that. It's kind of bent up a little bit, but I don't think you probably really, that probably doesn't matter that much. And then on the back, we have a couple of authentication uh, things here. One that matches JSA there. And what does this other one say? Uh, something TSE shop or something, but anyway. Franco Harris, I love it. Pittsburgh Steelers, awesome hit. And I really don't pull as much Steelers stuff as you would think either, you know? I mean, because the Steelers have had, I mean, usually the teams that have really good fan bases, I should, all teams have good fan bases, but you know what I mean, that tend to be more nationwide than regional like the Cowboys and the Patriots and the Packers and the Steelers, usually you proportionately seem to pull more hits for teams like that. Probably really don't. It just maybe seems that way, so I don't know. Anyway, we are now rolling into Contenders Draft Picks Football. And this is a half case break. This just came out today. And of course, we're going to break it into it tonight. And I don't know whether or not to tell you, because this will be our first experience with it, if everybody's going to get a hit out of this or not. So if you don't pull a card at all, and you would instead get an, a consolation card out of this break, it would still ship with the rest of the break, since this is a paid shipping kind of scenario. So six boxes of 2018 Contenders Draft Picks Football. Half case break, break number one, just came out tonight. This one is sold by the first letter of the last name. So Baker Mayfield would be M, Josh Rosen is going to be R, Lamar Jackson J, so on and so forth. So that's how these are set up. And because this is a brand new case, I take all of the boxes out. So we're going to open this up and take all 12 boxes out. I will number all 12 boxes on the end. And then I'll use random.org to determine which six we open tonight and which six are left over to be opened up tomorrow night. And you know what else? Score football comes out on Wednesday. And that is such weird timing. I don't quite know what to do with it. I didn't schedule it to break Wednesday night because if we scheduled it to break Wednesday night, we would have to do it like this, with the rookies sold by their last name. But if we wait a couple of days, because the draft, you know, it's going to be, what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If we wait till somewhere in there, then, of course, we can do our rookies by the team that they've been drafted by. So my inclination kind of is to wait. Yet, you know me, I like to get into stuff the day it arrives. So, I don't know, it's going to be kind of hard on me to put that off and wait on it. But I think that's what... I think that's probably the best way to do it. The more, a little delayed gratification, but the more uh, 
interesting way to do it anyways if we wait till after the draft. So there are all 12 our boxes, all blah, 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 blah. All 12 of our boxes are numbered. And now I'm gonna type one through 12 over here into random. I will hit random one single time and whatever uh, the first six boxes are that it gives us are the six we will open up tonight. The remaining six tomorrow night in break number two. So it gives us six, two, 11, seven, one and whoops, one and four. So one, two, four, six, seven, eleven. All right, one, two, four, six and seven. I must have left one out. No, I guess not. I guess it is six. I can't even count to six. Oh my gosh. One, two, four, six, seven, eleven. Okay, we're all there. Let me take our other six and put them back in their case over here, and then we'll get started on this. Oh, Jean says, uh, this is, I hadn't looked at chat there for a minute, Jean. Sorry about that. I was busy getting all this out and numbered and everything. Jean says the teams we were talking about earlier, uh, the teams that tend to have appeal broader than just their immediate geographical area, he says they are called, commonly called bandwagon teams. I did not know that. Makes sense, though. So, of course, contenders draft picks. We should find six autographs per box in here. Some of them may be redemptions. I don't know. This is my first shot in here, too. So we'll find that out together as we go along. And, of course, as always with Panini, everything they say is on average. That's always their key, on average. So what that means is occasionally they might mess up and short us a hit, but mostly what it means is sometimes they replace a hit with a Panini Rewards Point card. If that happens tonight and they replace one of our hits, we will take the Rewards Point card and random it off at the end of the break. All right, so of course, as you know, we've got all kinds of things in here. We've got veterans and coaches and rookies and anything and everything else that you can imagine so we'll stop on the things that are numbered obviously the things that are signed and then our base cards will just kind of run right on through so numbered to 23 with a little crack dice is a college ticket here for um i don't really know exactly how to say his first name janarian grant something like that so at any rate, it's definitely a G. And that is the part that counts, of course. And of course, Collegiate Connections, they're both going to play for the... Oh, but you know what? We're not doing this by school. So Collegiate Connections, we're going to have to set aside because our players are likely going to have uh, different letters for their last names. So we'll have to award those using random a little bit later in the break. Always kind of have to switch gears for a minute. I'm so used to doing everything by team when we do it by last name. You have to stop and think about that for a second. Traquan Smith to 99 is our hit out of this pack. So that, of course, headed off to bidding position S. Well, we'll just flip those over. Panini is the worst about changing the directions that their cards go in a pack, a, like 10 times pack, it seems like. But I'm, I'm so excited for the draft to get here. I feel like we've been talking about the draft for a solid year. We really haven't been, but it's such a hyped rookie class, especially amongst the quarterbacks. I'm really excited to see what happens. Royce Freeman to 25 I'm guessing that we're going to have a few surprises. That some people are going to trade up that we don't expect to trade up or uh, do something, take something or somebody that we don't expect them to take. I don't think it's going to come out exactly the way all the big boards are projecting it. 
Ziggy, all cards ship in this break. Anytime I have a break, if all cards, if it is a situation where not all cards ship, it will always say it in the description. This is a college ticket number 223. We have a little cracked ice again, and it is for Jalen Samuels. So the part of the listing where it says the date and the time of the break, and then right below it, it said, like, for instance, tonight, it said six times, you know, Panini, Contenders, Draft Picks, Half Case, etc. If there's ever a point at which we don't have all the cards shipped, that is the area where I would list it. So if you don't th see anything there that says anything about all cards not shipping or something not shipping, then you can then you can know with me, then that means they are all headed your way. Minka Fitzpatrick to 23. That's a nice little cracked ice hit for bidding position F. Basically, I'm just setting all of our multiplayer cards off to the side because we'll have to use random to figure those out. Ziggy, I see that... Uh, do you have the Boston Red Sox as your logo? It's The logo's tiny on my chat screen, but that looks like it says the Red Sox, does it? Or is that something else? Is that a logo for something else? Adrian Peterson. That is numbered to 99 with a little bowl ticket insert. This is for bidding position L, Chase Litton. I think this is the first autograph we've pulled that hasn't been numbered, isn't it? Like so. Oh, you are a big Red Sox fan. All right, cool. So are you are you super excited like I am about Bowman baseball coming out on Wednesday? I'm just geeked out over that. I love Bowman. It's one of my favorites that comes out every year. Bowman and Bowman Chrome are just so awesome. I just wish they wouldn't put so darn many base cards in there, and then we could break them easily in full case quantities. But, man, I calculated it, and it was something. It was well over 2,000 cards to break the whole case at once. And since I ship all the cards, that was going to be crazy, so I had to do a half case. Philip Lindsay for the L's. Two L's in a row. Your Red Sox just absolutely ate, ate the Angels up alive the other day. Woo. Red Sox are looking tremendous this year. I'm sure you're very excited about your season ahead. How about a little Deshaun Watson printing plate? That's nice. One of one, as all of our printing plates are. So, nice little uh, Deshaun Watson coming out there. Our signature is a college, well, these are all going to be college tickets unless I say otherwise, I guess. Oh, I don't know how to say his part. Tavarius, maybe? Tavarius McFadden? Yeah, I need to adopt a different baseball team because <laughs> my Cincinnati Reds are horrible. <laughs> so bad. I What did I see today? Their worst start since 1931 or since 1930-something. Of course, I'm not going to give up on them because, you know, they're my team. But I do definitely uh, branch out and watch some other teams now. Because <laughs> it's kind of depressing if all you do is watch the Reds. Here is a game day ticket for James Washington. And that is numbered to a nice low 15. I don't know. I don't know that that firing Brian Price really does much to help us either, frankly. But I guess you have to do something when you start off the season that way. Another W. This is um, Kaiser, Kaiser, or Kaiser White. And it is number 299. 
So basically, we're going to find one of these collegiate connections in every single pack. So that means we're going to have a zillion of those to do something with. So what I think we will do, because there are going to be a lot of them, is we'll use random to do left side of the card, right side of the card, and then whichever it gives us, it'll go to the player either on the left side of the card or the right side of the card for the whole way through. Leighton Vander Esch. And so, I don't know, is, is Vander his middle name or is Vander Esch his last name? So is that a V or is that an E? I will have to look that up because I don't know if Vander... Is a middle name or a last name. So I'm not sure about that. I do know that they're projecting he might end up possibly going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I do know that much. So Gene, you're saying, Van okay, so Vander Esch together is the last name. I mean, I've heard them say Vander Leighton Vander Esch a million times, but I never really thought about until I saw the card was Vander and Esch the last name or Vander a middle name. Okay, so in that case, then that will go to the V's like victory for Vander Esch. And this is Corey Robertson for the R's. Hi, I'm trying to see, what is that, Mr. Mister GL? I'm going to say that that means Mr. Good Luck. How about that? It's probably not really what you intended. But I'm going to say that Mr. GL stands for Mr. Good Luck. So hi to you, <laughs> Mr. Good Luck. Are you going to bring us good luck? <laughs> All right, that, this is box number three that we're getting ready to take out of the wrappers right now it did really it really did mean good luck haha -ha, cool I got one right usually I'm so wrong about what the usernames mean when I see them on YouTube this is a little season ticket I'm trying to find the number it is numbered to 49 right there it is for Ed Reed Signature hit is Marcus Davenport for the D's. Another collegiate connection. Mr. Good Luck, who do you have in this break tonight? Or, or do you have anyone in the break tonight? We'll see if, we'll see if that good luck rubs off. Trey Quinn for the Q's. I'm hoping I can get this out to you guys before Tuesday, but I don't know. I always say what I think think will happen which I think Tuesday will happen but and then I try really hard to get it out quicker than that Troy Fumagalli 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 it is to the bidding position F Next, we have Nick Simonek. <laughs> okay, everyone knows that I am terrible with the name pronunciation. We all know that. His signature is really does not look anything like his name. Like, my handwriting is bad, but that does not even remotely resemble his name. I'm just saying. Oh, Prism was actually last night, Mr. GL. We broke Prism uh, last night along with, what else? Crown Royal. Yeah, Prism and Crown Royal are were last night's breaks. Virtually always my stuff will break on the same night that it ends. It's super rare for me to list anything uh, 
that will break on a night different than the night it ends. This is numbered to 25 and it's first in the series. So it is number one of 25 and it's a good one. Cortland Sutton and it's on card, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. On card too. So nice hit for S with Cortland Sutton. Yeah, I used to sometimes list them the day before, especially on things that were going to be new releases. And I just found that it got confusing, not really for me, but sometimes people who were uh, bidding on it, it was confusing as to when it was going to be. So I mostly just stick to breaking the night it ends these days. Derek Natty, or Naughty, for the end. All right, so that was exactly our halfway point. That was the end of box three. This is the start of box four. We're just going to go crazy and take two packs out at once. <laughs> Taking a walk on the wild side. <laughs> I know, that's kind of sarcasm. I know. School Colors. This is numbered to 23. Cracked Ice. It is Dante Pettis. Another dual player card. And if you're wondering where the cards go after we look at them, some of, I know we do have some new faces tonight. I set them off to the right-hand side here, which is the area that I use for sorting. But it is also all nice and cushy with breaking mats as well. So it still stays nice and safe and sound. Here's another Leighton Van Der Esch for the V's. seen a lot of mock drafts that kind of project that he may end up with the Steelers. We definitely need some linemen. Richie James. Bidding position J. I'm most interested to see what happens with Lamar Jackson. I still think it's just kind of crazy that everybody is so dead set in their belief that his talent will not translate to the NFL. And maybe they're right. I don't know. But it just seems to me he's such a dynamic player. And believe me, I, I mean, I, you know, I went to school at UK. So U of L is our in state rivals. Jalen Samuels for the S to 99. But I still, I respect the heck out of Lamar Jackson, and I just don't understand why you wouldn't at least give him a shot. I mean, come on. But so many people just do not project him to do well in the NFL. I don't even think they're projecting him to go round one. Um, I mean, maybe not. Who knows? A college ticket for Josie Jewell to the Jays. Oh, and then I read something today where they said that someone is speculating that the Browns are going to take two quarterbacks, possibly two in the first round. Like, are you kidding me? Like how many people, how many quarterbacks have to go to Cleveland and have their career end there? <laughs> going to take two out of the first round? Come on. Cortland Sutton, another nice, nice hit here for uh, Cortland Sutton. This one is numbered 223, school colors, cracked ice. I mean, I know it's not signed, but it's still a pretty cool hit. Numbered to 99. For the G's with Rasheem Green. I think they should take Barkley at number one. 
And then take their quarterback at number four. I mean, they've got uh, Tyrod in there anyway. Whoever it is is supposedly going to be backing up. Of course, they said that last year about Deshaun Watson, too, and then threw him into, I mean, uh, not Deshaun Watson, uh, Deshaun Kaiser, and then threw him into the fire. So I guess you never know, but... And I know it's not popular to take running back as a number one overall pick, but I think Barkley's going to be something special. And he actually wants to go play there. Like, he's fine playing there. Edo Smith for the S. Because, you know, a lot of people do not want to be drafted to Cleveland. In fact, one of the Joshes, was it Rosen? It was Rosen who said... Basically implied that if he were drafted or thought he were going to be drafted by the Cleveland Browns, that he might consider going back to school back in the late winter, early spring. Dalton Schultz. S's are cleaning up tonight, aren't they? Seems like they are anyway. I don't know. I'm just excited for the draft. I can't wait to see the order that everything goes in. Michael Gallup for the G's, numbered to 99. Of course, it's going to be hard for Pittsburgh, I think, to have as good a rookie class as we had last year. I loved our rookie class last year. Even right after the draft, I loved our rookie class. And then, of course, Juju turned out to be great. And, uh, I think we're, we'll see some good production out of James Conner as well. And we just had a good group of rookies last year. Luke Falk. There's a nice hit for the Fs, numbered 225. And that is also first in the series. You know how I love to have them either first in the series or last in the series. I don't know why. I just do. And that Luke Falk is on card, I believe, appears to be at first glance anyway. kind of new football coming out later this year uh, fairly soon called Luminance that I believe is going to have a lot of on-card stuff for our draft picks including maybe some next day stuff in it. I don't know. It looks kind of interesting. Marcus Davenport for the D's. So I ordered a decent amount of luminance. We'll see how it rolls. Of course, we'll have Majestic, which we broke last year, too. And last year was the first year for it. But it was a nice-looking product. They've reconfigured it a little differently this year. Fewer boxes per case. and Or actually, one more box. I'm sorry. Last year was five. This year's six. Pat Mahomes. Number 249. And our hit is Riley Ferguson to 99. But Luminance does look, looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Kind of a middle of the road sort of pricing thing. Not super inexpensive, not super, super expensive. Of course, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with score. It does come out on Wednesday. I only schedule Bowman to break on Wednesday because I'm still just debating what to do with score. So if I break it before the draft, it's going to be really hard to figure out what to do with all the rookie cards. A little Drew Brees, numbered 299. But yet, I hate having to wait until Sunday or something to get in it. I kind of want to get in it before that. Jalen Samuels. For the S. I know. I'm like a little kid at Christmas. When new stuff comes out and it gets here, I just so want to break it immediately. I don't want to wait. I don't like the delayed gratification. If it's here, I want to start opening it. So, to figure out some plan for score. I'm just not 100% sure yet what that plan is going to be. Another... Troy Fumagalli played for the Wisconsin Badgers. 
which is where TJ Watt played. Brother of JJ, but of course TJ's our nice little rookie from last year. And by our, of course, I mean the Pittsburgh Steelers. Harrison Phillips for the Peas. Seen a lot of coaches go by. And here we have Corey Robertson for the R's. All right, we're closing in on it. We've got two packs left, which means we've got two hits left to surface here. So... If we haven't hit your guy yet, get your mojo working. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Traquan Smith for the S. Yeah, one place you will not see my alma mater, the University of Kentucky, is on one of those collegiate connections cards, I don't imagine. <laughs> we would have... We don't have very many guys in the NFL, I'm afraid. Ooh, redemption. Um, we have a few, one of which is actually on the Steelers on the defensive side of the ball, but we don't have very many. We're getting better, though. We are getting better. So our redemption, oh, ho, 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 look who it is. Yeah, Saquon Barkley, so nice. Cracked Ice Ticket Variation B. Let's go to the checklist and find out exactly how nice that's going to be. I would assume it's going to be numbered to 23. I mean, that would certainly be the obvious thing since it says Cracked Ice. But we're going to buzz over here and figure it out. But the bees who had to wait all the way until the last pack of the last box were sweating that out, I imagine. All right, let's see here again. This is RPS College Cracked Ice Ticket Variation B. Good grief, that's a lot. Let me make sure that's it, right? Yeah, okay. Card number 105 and number 223, as we expected for the Bs. Saquon Barkley, the big hit coming out. Number 223. All right, so we will do a quick little buzz through uh, our hits as a recap here in a moment. But before we get to that, we have something else we need to do, which is this pile right here of Collegiate Connections cards. So here's what I'll do. I'll use random. I'll type in left side of the card, right side of the card. I will hit random three different times. The first two will not count. The third and final random will be our determining factor. Did I forget to switch your view back? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Now I had to check that for a second. Um, so let's say, for instance, if it came out right side of the card, it would go to the Jordan Howard position. If it came out uh, left side, obviously, to the Cobbs position. And it would be that way for every card in that stack, which we will flip through and look at each one of them after we use random to figure out which side of the card it goes to. And I always type stuff in, guys, as uh, either left to right or top to bottom, depending on how a card is oriented. So it's always typed in the same way every single time uh, in relation to how the card is oriented. So ignore the first one, ignore the second one. Our third and final counts. There's our three times, our date and time stamp. It comes up as the right side of the card. So let's do a quick little blow through here. So that will be um, H, S, W, F, S, R, R, K, F, S, J, E, B, H, 
T M C R H S. Is that G? Yeah, G. Couldn't see that for a minute. J M A J R E and P K S R J M G and H. Okay, so that's how those are going to be sent out the door, the right hand side of the card. Our numbered cards Drew Brees to 99. Pat Mahomes to 49. Nice little uh, cracked ice Cortland Sutton to 23. This is to 49 with Ed Reed. Cool Deshaun Watson one of one printing plate. And then numbered to 99, Adrian Peterson. So those are our numbered non-signed cards, if you will. Now let's take a quick little buzz through here of our hits. Of course, this is one of two stacks of our hits, but I like to go through them always in the recap at the end of the break. So you know if you ever miss it live and you are coming back watching it later on the the archived version that YouTube has or on the version that I will upload the next day. You know you can always scroll to the end of your break and see a recap. So I would say that our Saquon Barkley is definitely the highlight hit out of this half of the case. And of course the back half we're going to open up tomorrow night. So that's it for tonight, other than I will put the spreadsheet info up one more time just in case someone missed it earlier and you want to get the info, get the 411 on your anticipated shipping date. There is that information once again. And the only difference here, um, if your letter did not hit at all in this break, which I would imagine every letter probably hit, but I can't say that for sure till I sort it. Uh, but if, for for instance, you had a letter that didn't hit in this break, your consolation card would ship with the rest of the break. You would not have to wait for it to go with your next package uh, as some of the other breaks do, because obviously this was a paid shipping break. And then finally, there's another little quick uh, run through the things that are coming up over the course of the next five days. As you can see, draft picks again tomorrow night. Full case of Diamond Kings on Sunday. More draft picks on Monday and Tuesday, and then we'll start busting into Bowman on Wednesday, the day it comes out. And I'll figure out score football somewhere along the way, where to plug it in. So once again, thanks to everyone uh, who participated tonight. I always appreciate you bidding and breaking and chatting with me, and hopefully I will see you again on another break soon. In the meantime, have a great rest of your night and a good start to the weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.